Hello friends, I'm Dr. Jeevat Vam. Today I will discuss about pupil pyrexia or postpartum fever. Pupil pyrexia definition a rise in temperature reaching 100.4 Fahrenheit 38 centigrade are more measured orally on separate occasions at 24 hours apart excluding first 24 hours within first 10 days following delivery is called pupil fever or childbirth fever benign fever following vaginal delivery benign single day fevers fever in the first 24 hours after delivery often results spontaneously and can't be explained by an identifiable infection causes of pupil fever mastitis atelectasis septic pelvic thrombolitis wound infection endometritis urinary tract infection causes of atelectasis general anesthesia cigarette smoking obstructive pulmonary disease causes of urinary tract infection multiple catheterization multiple vaginal examinations untreated bacteria causes of endometritis emergency c-section prolonged membrane rupture prolonged labor multiple vaginal examinations causes of wound infection trauma during delivery multiple catheterization c-section Septic pelvic thrombophilibitis is caused by emergency C-section, prolonged membrane rupture, prolonged labor, difficult vaginal delivery. What causes mastitis? Nipple trauma from breastfeeding. Some other causes of pupil pyrexia, premature rupture of the membranes, retained products of conception, hemorrhage, maternal conditions such as anemia, poor nutrition during pregnancy, genital tract infections, Enterococci and aerobic streptococci, gonococci, clostridium perfringens, use of a fetal scalp electrode during labor, obesity, diabetes. The associated symptoms depend on the site and nature of the infection. The most typical site of infection is the genital tract. Endometritis, which affects the uterus, is the most prominent of these infections. Endometritis is much more common if a small part of the placenta has been retained in the uterus. Clinical findings and management Mild to moderate fever No changes or mild release on chest auscultation Atelectasis Pulmonary exercises Ambulation Urinary tract infection High fever Malaise Cost of vertebral tenderness Positive urine culture Antibiotics as per culture sensitivity Cephalosporin 1 to 2 gram parenteral, 6 ovally. Endometritis, moderate fever, uterine tenderness, multiple agent IV antibiotics to cover polymicrobial organisms. Wound infection, persistent spiking fever despite antibiotics, wound edema or fluctuance. Wound drainage, antibiotics for cellulitis, open and drain wound, saline soaked packing twice a day, secondary cholera. Septic pelvic thrombophilibitis, persistent white fever swings despite antibiotics, usually normal abdominal or pelvic exams, IV heparin for 7 to 10 days, mastitis, unilateral, localized edema, edema tenderness, antibiotics for cellulitis, open and drain abscess if present. Physical examination, a pelvic examination is done and samples are taken from the genital tract to identify the bacteria involved in the infection. The pelvic examination can reveal the extent of infection and possibly the cause. Laboratory investigations, blood samples may also be taken for blood counts, CRP or blood culture. A urine lysis may also be ordered especially if the symptoms are indicative of a urinary tract infection, chest x-ray, wound culture. Treatment of pupil infection usually begins with IV infusion of broad-spectrum antibiotics and is continued for 48 hours after fever is resolved. Supportive care, symptomatic treatment, surgery may be necessary to remove any remaining products of conception, are to drain local lesions such as an infected epistomy, incision made during delivery may need to be opened and drained. In the presence of thrombophilibitis, 
heparin therapy will be needed to provide anticoagulation. Preventions avoid the risk factors, keep the epistomy site clean, careful attention to antiseptic procedures during childbirth is the basic underpinning of preventing infection. With some procedures such as caesarean section, a doctor may administer prophylactic antibiotics as a preemptive strike against infectious bacteria. This chart is showing clinical aspects of postpartum fever. General measures to treat postpartum fever, uterine curettage for infection related to retained products of conception. Encourage frequent emptying of breasts if cause is due to engorgement, incision and drainage for breast abscess. Pharmacological treatment of postpartum fever. The treatment given depends on the cause. The treatment for breast problems is as follows. For engorgement, tablet paracetamol, oral 1 gram 8 hourly is required. For mastitis abscess, capsule fluoxacillin oral 500 mg 6 hourly for 5 to 7 days. For endometritis, injection co amoxiclave IV 600 mg to 1.2 gram 8 hourly for 7 days plus injection metronidazole IV 500 mg 8 hourly for 7 days or tablet co amoxiclave or 625 mg to 1 gram 12 hourly for 7 days plus tablet metronidazole or 400 mg 8 hourly for 7 days.